Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today we have a quasi abandoned home in France to show you. And to be honest, we've been researching for this place for two years now. We finally found it and we are inside and we are set to announce that it has been ransacked. The room we are sitting now is still beautiful, but it's also changed. And the house is tiny, so it's going to be a short video. But despite that, we still want to document it and share it with all of you. So, yeah, we really hope you enjoy this video mm -hmm. as we give you a guided tour around. Alright, so let's not tease you this time and start with the most beautiful room. Firstly, and have a look. This was the living. It's such a homely French house, which seems to have stood in time, but if you saw the pictures of how it looked before, it was even way more beautiful. Yeah. Well, actually everything's left behind. Some knitting tools. What is in here? Hmm. Some prints of newspapers. Okay. And look, it seems that the family was very religious too. Well, very religious indeed. <laughs> wow. It's literally a corner of religion. Oh yeah, <laughs> another religious artifact. The Pope over here. This is really the corner of, of religion. religion. <laughs> Look, they also love to listen to music in their room. And then we have this beautiful, beautiful fortress. Yeah, exactly. And the stuffed leather seat. And I think one of the past occupants was in the army. Maybe the man who lived there. Or Marine, or he was a pilot. Yeah. Look over there. Seems that this was one of their family ancestors. Yeah, and also uh, like an admiral. So there is a giant wooden cabinet over here. Look at all the bottles perfectly positioned next to each other yeah. on top. Beer bottles, huh? Corn and beer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and also their china over here. Some glasses and plates. Oh, the barometer here. And then what is underneath? Candles? Yeah, yep. a lot of candles. And also, try to open this. Well, there is a lot of cables and electric equipment. Hmm. And it's from a pen. CDs. Yep. And even a bottle of liquor. Oh yeah. Seems they like to drink liquor mm -hmm. occasionally. Some rum. La crème de rum. <laughs> what is this? Cigars? Oh, what is it? No, it's just an old cassette thing. Yeah, yeah. And right next to it is the box of a camera. Which one this? That one, yeah. There's a camera on it. No, the first one. Oh, the first one? Yeah, you see the camera. Oh, yeah. Still in the box. Crazy, huh? Mm hmm. Well, and then what I'm holding. <laughs> Another camera. Up to my left. This was, I think, the better one. Also still perfectly in the box. Yeah, it's still in the box. It seems that this was never opened. Look like so. That they bought it and never used it. Yeah. Have a look. That is actually a crazy find. Yeah. So these people love photography too, like we do. And now we're actually photographing their passion for photography. Indeed. And their abandoned home. It's pretty sad that it's just laying over there. Yeah, I'm really wondering what happens. The bus occupant, but if I start looking over here, 
I can already guess who I think. And this picture is actually heartbreaking. It's a woman laying in a hospitalized bed. Yep. And she's celebrating her 18, no, 90, no. 88. Eight, yeah, now 89. You see? Oh, yeah. She's celebrating her 89th birthday here. And yeah, it seems that this might have been also their last birthday because this is the picture where she's still standing here. Yes. Now, what is this? Straws. Hmm. Cabinet over here also still completely filled. But you can just see that it's ransacked. I mean, yeah, it's definitely not what it used to be, and people have went through the stuff. That's so respectless. I mean, how dare you stealing from this just harmful lady? Man, this, this picture made a lot of impact on me. It's, it's sad to see a picture like that. Yeah, true. I mean, I think a lot of homes hold sad stories, but now it's really visual. Over here, all the glasses are left. Yeah. The shelf is not very messy. Well, that's our last check in here. No, this one is empty. And this one, I have to blue on both sides. <laughs> yeah, the tools and appliances set. Yep. was actually their television in the living. And again, crucifix over there. Well, we have the table over here. Man, look at the axe over here. That's actually crazy. It's also pretty heavy. Yeah, it's definitely a real one. And rusty also. <laughs> Over here, all their lecture and books. Oh, most of the stories are actually sad. Well, if the woman was living here in the last and her man already passed away, I think she loved to do knitting. I think she loved to read books and maybe she bought the camera for her man and the man passed away and she did not want to bring it back to the store. Hmm, speculations, speculations, indeed, indeed, could be a true story, man. I'm just trying to get an imagination of what might have happened with the owners and this is very, very strange. These <laughs> are still filled with water. Yeah. Like why she, yeah she wanted to make some water but eventually it was just left like this a beautiful painting and what do you think of the clock <laughs> it's cool huh that's very unique never saw something like that actually it's again something else i like the curtains too with the flowers and over here are some other very comfortable Letter. Seats. Leather seats. They've oh. got some mold spores on them. Actually, over there is a picture. That's strange. It doesn't even look like a real picture, no, and I think no. it isn't. Oh, look, the bouquet over there. That one are actually real flowers on the left. The right are fake, but on the left, they are real. Yeah. Yep. It's yeah. a bouquet and has still been in the foil. So and in the well water. preserved. Yeah, well, it doesn't look very well anymore. I mean, have a look at the plants. <laughs> Even the leaves are very dry. Oh, and there is also a giant spider alive over there.
right, so over here we actually have the front door of the building, and here, yeah, this was the main entrance. And when the people walked inside of their home, this was the hallway where they came through. And do you actually think? I was like, oh, there were places over here, but this thing was always there. This was the original position? Yeah. That's, That's so very strange. strange. Yeah, indeed. Look over here. All, all the system. keys. All the keys, indeed. Some decorations. Mirror over there. And, oh, and let's walk. Oh, actually over here. A beautiful painting of a chalet. This is not the house, right? No, 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 no. And there was uh, water over here. Yeah, I was really thinking for saying like, is this the house now? No. <laughs> well, we have many uh, positions we can go. Um, I think first let's do this room, and then we do that. Yeah, this is a big mess, man. I think over here you only have to give an overview because literally everything is thrown over here. I mean, an overview is the only possibility. I mean, the complete way is blocked here. You can tell that one day it was beautiful before people ransacked it and searched for valuables. valuables indeed. Mm, yeah, this was certainly a bad room, but yeah, it's a shame. I mean, look. Everything has been thrown around. It's sad because the living was so pristine and this was probably not what you were expecting. No. And the same counts for us when we entered. Indeed, indeed. Almanna. Vacation pictures, I guess. Yeah, yeah, probably on holiday. And that's the year they were there, 1985. 1987. Hmm. Well, then we have another bathroom, but still, it's completely ransacked. I want to see the date on this one actually. Hmm. <laughs> it's hard. I think it's so. Oh no, no. All right, 14, 10, 2020. Okay, so that's definitely me from another person and the original occupant. Yeah. Well, look over here. Just some clothes, a chair, some chests. And yeah, this was a bedroom, but this looks so plain. You yeah. can still see that it used to be beautiful by, for example, the lamp and the curtains. They had a good style. Why is this covered? Maybe everything is still have in here. Oh yeah. This is the one and only wardrobe I think. With all the clothes still pristinely in it. Wow. And over there are some clothes too and again. Religious artifact on the wall. And the other side is actually pretty cool painting and I think I've seen this person before and he was a scientist I guess it's uh hmm no it doesn't look like Charles Darwin maybe I know we had a beard so but we don't want to assume things without knowing so if you know the right answer in case that person is a well-known person leave it down in the comment section So right over here used to be another bedroom. The mattress has been taken out. I think it's uh, in the other room. Yeah, me too. One. Oops, sorry, but... All right, the name was uh, Monsieur Jean-Pierre Gerardot. Okay. Mr. Jean-Pierre. Mr. Jean-Pierre. They had That's a television right. in their bedroom. Yeah. And well, you can That's tell again, 
this is all vandalized. I'm not even going into detail, I mean, it's so sad. But what we want to show you is the woman definitely loved sewing, like we told. And this time it's not a Singer sewing machine, but somewhere else. And this one is more modern. It's electric, yeah. It's an Omnia. I think the house is not a band for... Too long. No. Exactly. Again, I like the curtains though. Even though it's not the most untouched location we did. One day it was, but still there are some interesting aspects to point out. All of religious things, so. Oh, the angel here. So then it's time to walk down the corridor. I don't know why, but it seems somebody wanted to clean here, but never did. Over here is another door. There is a slight lug on it. Let's go down. I don't really want to see it. <laughs> well, spiders above your head. Yeah, and also area around my body. Luckily, you're the first one going in. Man, this is also a big mess. Damn. Oh! Hello there. Well, there is plenty of floats here left. Look how moldy this chest is. Yeah. Oh, there is a wheelchair. Yeah, probably definitely for the elderly couple. This was actually a very big basement, bro. Yeah. There is actually no second floor on no. the house. But they just made a giant basement. Well, I can open it up. And then the other side of the basement. And you can tell, like Raymond said, it's a large basement. Yeah. Oh, wow, this is cool. Look, Yves Saint Laurent. All right. What would be on here, actually? I Some know pumps. this is a very expensive rent. You know what's also really cool? That's a wear. Damn, <laughs> look what it actually was. It was, what? This is a crazy find, bro. This is a yeah. real crazy find. This is actually like a, a bicycle with flies. Like they wanted a plane out of a bicycle, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You <laughs> I mean, have a look over here. Would have been the wings. Oh, no, this was a real helicopter. <gasps> For real. I mean, propeller was right on top over there. Should there still be some pieces of the propeller somewhere I around? I here? don't know, but I'm really happy we went to the basement because this is something we have never found before. No, no, no. Have a seat in it, Raymond. Be my guest. It looks like these people wanted to make <coughs> the first bicycle driven plane. Well, they, they exist, you know it, right? You know that these things exist. <laughs> yeah. But, but I, I think they try to make their own because look over there. I mean, there are so many tools. <laughs> but well, yeah, this was uh, the control desk and then this was the handle. Explore yeah. airlines <laughs> inbound. You, you, you see you see me sitting like where is Raymond and then you're literally see me in the sky propellers <laughs> <laughs> That was funny man <laughs> totally unexpected <gasps> Okay black hole yeah Well, right. you can barbecue for a year with this. <laughs> yeah. You would even barbecue every day in that case. <laughs> yeah. And then I think there's only one thing we forgot to point out, and that's the bicycle over there. Yeah, that looks pretty cool, huh? 
Damn, look how they barricaded there, the garage door. Well, they didn't want anybody to go inside of here, actually. Well, unfortunately, we could not resist taking a look and no. just sharing this place in a respectful manner with everyone. Indeed. Luckily, it's us. Let's say it like that. Sorry to be arrogant, but... <laughs> and right over here was actually a bathroom. Everything is left inside. Perfume, brewing products. Right next to the bathroom was a small toilet. And then this room is such a mess. It's the kitchen. Have a look. Oh mate, so many whoa, garbage. Whoa, 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 whoa. Watch out, there is uh... Oh, there's human shit. Yeah, that's not nice. Well, there is still food completely rotting away on these plates. It's so disgusting here. Man. There is also a lot of porno magazines. Can I show them? Yep, I'm gonna put them away. And there is also uh, a lot of, uh, what is this, tobacco, yeah, oh, look, some pills inside, oh yeah, man, that was strange, and be careful because I think over there is also human shit, ugh, that's really nasty, well, at least this is pretty cool, oh, everything is still left inside, those are those things for a coffee machine, you know? Yeah. Oh, even there's some garlic. And... Damn. Ugh, nasty. Very, very moldy. Yeah, well, I'm sorry for filming this quickly, but the smell is absolutely repulsive and I want to get out of here. So... Despite we were thinking that this place <coughs> was very boring, the find in the basement was still very special. Yeah. And the living, of course, was yeah truly magnificent. So. All right, well, bro, to be honest, what do you think? The place isn't abandoned for that long. And there is some pretty modern stuff. I think, actually, that the woman you saw in the picture, that that was just the mother of just two persons who were living in here. I mean, it's also overfilled with porn. Well, why would... I don't know, or maybe she's in a nursing home or something, and that those were old magazines from the man. I really don't know. But in the end, this was not the best exploration we ever did, but the bike and base yeah, made it so much better. Yeah, yeah, true, true, true. So if you enjoyed that, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, comment down, down below. below. Also ring the bell notification button, subscribe to our channel and we will see you on our next adventure. Peace, Peace out. out.